everyone. Happy holidays and welcome back to The Traveling Man. Uh, finally, I'm doing a holiday episode and right now I'm at Cranax over here in Hermitage, Pennsylvania. I know Wally, uh, Wally B did a video on this place, but I wanted to come here and check it out for myself because I'm more familiar with Bronner's Christmas in Frankenmuth, which is the world's largest Christmas store. So I thought I'd come over and check this one out. Um, this is kind of right in between the Pittsburgh area and the Cleveland area. Closest uh, big population would be Sharon, Pennsylvania. Well, all you have to do is follow me if you want to check out this amazing Christmas store. Like I just mentioned, I grew up with Brauner's Christmas Wonderland, which is the world's largest Christmas store. I lived about an hour and a half south of Frankenmuth, Michigan, which is where it's located. And I did take a trip to Frankenmuth this Christmas season, and I did go and film in depth. Bronner's Christmas Wonderland. So if you'd like to see that amazing store, then head on over to my Patreon account. The link is on the screen right now. And become a member because you won't want to miss that special members-only exclusive look at the world's largest Christmas store. But right now, we're going to be taking a look at Cranex. This is going to be a very in-depth look at Cranex as I'm going to walk through almost aisle by aisle and show you literally everything that they have to offer. This place is huge. And I do mean huge. Not as big as Bronner's, but then Bronner's is 100% Christmas. This has some things in it like the general store that's, you know, kind of all year round and not holiday related. I'm also going to go over some of the history and facts on this place because it's got some history to it. So if you're ready to take a magical winter wonderland tour with me of Cranax, Pennsylvania's largest Christmas store, all you have to do is follow me. All right, I had to come on and, of course, take this off so you can understand what I'm saying. Um, had to come on. This video is probably going to be really long, so get your ho-ho hot chocolate, strap yourself in, and enjoy the amazing Cranax store. All right, I had to come back on. I'm being joined by my mom. Wait, get back in the thing so that no. they... They're going to hear you talking on my video and go, who's that person randomly talking? There. Hello, people. <laughs> there, she's joining me here on Happy this. Happy holidays. Yes, she's joining me here on this adventure. Okay, bye, everyone. Cancer brain. <laughs> Cancer brain. All right, everyone, welcome to Cranax. I've been um, informed that they have a general store kind of a thing um, where they have, like, toys and almost like a five and dime kind of thing. You can see there's all the registers. But they have candy and... Um, there's more toys, and this is just amazing. Like, wow. This is, they have this part all year round. Um, yeah, here you can see some of the candy. That's pretty cool. They got all the plays, um, old style candies, Cadbury. Wow. Look at all the toys. I mean, there's just like aisle after aisle. It's like a toy store, actually. Um, is more what this is like. So this is like all of the farm... I have never seen so many toy farm tractors in my life. I mean, it is just a whole huge aisle. We need a UPS truck. Wait, what? A UPS truck. Oh my gosh, it is a UPS truck. Wait, they have a UPS van? Yes. You need to get that for um, the UPS lady. <laughs> they got several different styles of UPS truck too. I don't think she'd really Looking want for one. A UPS All right, so this aisle has toy guns. This is kind of like Western stuff. There you got your little stick horses. And I'm surprised they don't have the Red Rider BB gun. I, at least I don't see it um, because that's like kind of a staple for over this direction. Wait, pickleballs? What? Pickleballs, why? I don't know. They're U.S. Open pickleballs. <laughs> okay. I don't I get it. No clue what this is all is. like sporting toys, outdoor sports toys. Pretty cool. Oh, there's like a basketball hoop. This video. Um, oh, yeah. We come to the Star Wars section. Well, some Star Wars. Look at this baby Yoda. Does it do anything? 
Wait, no, the head does. Whoops, I'm not even filming it. The head does move. Like you can rotate it. That's kind of cool. Huh. Look at all the minions, but look at all the toy. I have not seen toy soldiers. You know what? I don't think I ever have seen toy soldiers being sold, especially not ones this big. Look at how big these are compared to my hand. Holy crap. All right, so I'm in the puzzle section. They have Mr. Rogers puzzles. That's kind of cool, especially since we're uh, near Pittsburgh. And that's the home of, you know, Mr. Rogers and that whole thing. Silly Putty. Oh, I love Silly Putty when there, I was a kid. There is a whole wall of Silly Putty. Wow. Games. All right, so this is aisle 18, which is nothing but board games and card games. And I was looking on the shelf and I don't see regular Boggle. They have Big Boggle, if that wasn't big enough. And then Super Big Boggle for people that are uh, can't see very well or old, decrepit people. I like that. I approve. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to switch over to the wide camera because it just gets so much more in and it's just more immersive. But you let me know down in the comment section below, what do you think of the quality of this ultra wide camera? My thoughts are it's the, the image quality is not as good as the standard wide camera, but you definitely get more in. This is cool. This is kind of like arts and crafts aisle. You can see there was bunches of Crayola and you know the crazy art velvet coloring things wow wow just the main section of the store that's um toys and stuff is really really big oh there's a lego section that's pretty cool i love legos although they're always so expensive you can't afford them but i do love my legos well and there's santa hanging on his rope that's pretty cool. Let's get a closer view of the Santa. There you go. Wow, that's pretty cool. Oh man, fudge. There's all the fudge. Well, they've got jelly bellies in like wine bottles. Sparkling jelly beans, that's cool. This is all your fancier candy, that's pretty cool. So this aisle, in aisle 10, they've got more of some food items and stuff. Kind of like a little grocery market. Um, this like spices. Yep, spices. That's pretty cool. Local honeys. Wow, and they've got checkouts on both sides. Let's go this way. Ooh, there's like a, um, this is like a craft hobby section where you get like model railroading and like model planes and cars. Wow, that's really kind of cool, too. You got all your model cars that you can build and paint. Wow, look at this. There's like a whole hobby store in here. They've got your um, slot cars. I love slot cars. Never owned any, but I wish I did. And then you've got your Lionel trains, your different, different scales of trains. Oh, I love that blue one. That's pretty cool. And then there's Santa Fe, the Chessie one. That was always... I used to have an HO scale version of that one. So here you can see there's just more um, more trains down here. And yeah, I probably, you know, told you the wrong scale. Those are not Lionel per se. I think they are rail king size or whatever. There's a whole bunch of different um, scale sizes. But look at this. They have the Sidewinder roller coaster. I'm not really quite sure what theme park that's from. I wonder if it's from like a local theme park in Pennsylvania. But that's pretty cool wow we they even have the scenery see these are um n scale i always hated n scale that was just too tiny but then look at this crayola train that's really cool i love that i've never seen one of those this looks like it might be more lionel scale that's really neat all right so this aisle has all of the train sets they put my favorite two trains right next to each other. Now, how do you choose from that one? I mean, technically, the Hogwarts Express is the Flying Scotsman, just painted red. But, you know, do you get the Flying Scotsman or do you get the Hogwarts Express? I don't know. I'd probably have to get both of them. But, wow, $200. Look at that. That's kind of expensive. Wait, I just noticed this. They have the Beatles yellow submarine train. What? 
I've never seen that before. So I think this section is more like country store, kind of like a Hallmark section. Um, wow, look at these display cases. They're just chock full of, I think these are snow babies, yep. Never really got into that. Well, you know, more of a woman thing. Snow pelions? Snow pinions? I don't know what that is. Wow. Now they even have a whole display case of the Grinch. Got your Grinch ornaments. That's really neat. Wow, they're expensive too, if that's the price. 376? Nope, 64 on that one back there, if you can see that. All right, are you ready for the spectacular Christmas section? Because we're about to go through a huge Christmas display and then wander on over into the Christmas section, which I've heard and seen, it's massive. All right, here we go. This is the Christmas section. Wow. Look at this, wow. This is just as cool as Bronner's in Frankenmuth. Cranex began in 1949 in Hermitage, Pennsylvania. Cranex has three divisions. The first division is the one you're seeing right here, which has the general store, all of the holiday displays, like the Christmas displays and the Easter displays, as well as all of the holiday decorations. The main retail location sells Christmas and Easter decorations, toys, gifts, potted plants, and other fresh-cut flowers from the floral department in the greenhouse. Then they have a second division of Crane X, which is their lawn and garden center, and that's located 1,000 feet behind the original store. And you can purchase things such as trees, shrubs, garden supplies, and outdoor furniture. Their third division comprises of six nurseries, where they grow trees, shrubs, and other plants for wholesale. Now, I didn't know when I visited this store that they actually um, are open for the Easter season, and they pretty much transform into, and from what I understand, they transform the Christmas store basically into an Easter store. Now, I've never been to an Easter store before, so I'm going to have to try and visit that in the spring.
right, while that was a look at the Christmas displays, let's go and head inside the retail portion of the Christmas store. So this is like kind of like your religious section and they have all of this um, beautiful olive wood stuff from the Holy Land. You'll see this stuff a lot of times at kiosks at the mall, but this is really kind of cool. You don't have to kind of guess where to go and find it because it's always here. Whereas the kiosks aren't always at the mall. Okay, continuing our journey, we're going to go into the greenhouse section. And look at this, look at all the plants and wreaths and stuff that they have. Wow, that's awesome. And then of course, if you go over that direction, it's all Christmas trees. But we're gonna take a look at the greenhouse section first. And you can just see aisle after aisle of plants and wreaths and wow, it goes way back this way. Okay, one of my favorite birds is the cardinal, and I love this. Cardinals appear when angels are near, and it's like a bird bath thing. That's really cool. Okay, I think this section is all ornaments. Yeah, this is all ornaments. Look at this. Wow, these are really neat marshmallow ones. These are like, are they, they're like wooden, I think. Yeah, they're wooden. Well, if you'd like to have a personalized Christmas bulb with your name on it, there you go. And they probably have my name somewhere in here. Um, C, C, C. Well, they have Christian. Probably my name has already been taken because it's common, but yeah, I don't see. Yeah, I think they're out of my name, but that's fine. Wow, here are penguin ornaments with people's names on them. I wonder if they have Jack, Isabel, David, Nathan, Xavier, that's really not common. Huh, William. I don't see, there wasn't a Wally. Uh, I don't even see my name on here. I think they're out of my name again because it's... Well, there's Charles. That's my middle name right there. But nope. No Chris again, unless I'm just blind. All right, let's check out... Whoa, they've got some of these Christmas Village things. I always loved these, but they're so expensive. Here, we'll get you a wide-angle shot of the Christmas Village without all of the stupid... Um, blinding light dots. Why am I blanking on what that's called? Stupid me, I'm having like an ADHD overload in this store. I am really, really loving the string lights. Look at that old oh, pizza. There's pizza and Coca-Cola. Those are awesome. There, there now, you can get a wide shot of all the string lights that they have. Oh, some of these tree toppers are quite impressive. I really like this rainbow one, so you can get your pride on. Awesome. All right, here's a look at some of the tree toppers, some more of them on display. They also have night lights over there. We'll take a look at those in a moment. But look at all of these little mini lights. These are almost like the battery powered ones, but I don't think they are. Those are really tiny. All right, you guys, here it is. This is the Christmas Village stuff. And my mom's in the way. What are you doing? Trying to turn it on. Just flip the flip, the off button. Flip the button. The black part. I can't reach Do you it. need me? Oh my, here, I'll do it. My finger won't go in it. And it's dead. Yeah, Try a different one. Wait, look at all these. You got one that works? All dead. Yep. Wait, wait, wait. It's on. Yep, they're all dead. Well, that sucks. Yeah, like, I like this one, and it probably lights up. Well, that's heavy. Jeepers, that's like a brick. Here. Okay, these are the 
Christmas holiday houses, the Christmas village. I like, look at chicken and waffles. Chicken and waffles are so good. I could really go for some right now. Here, I'll get you some. Sorry about the glare. That's kind of hard to get rid of it, but so you can get a little bit of a peek at the, there's like a pet photography, a church. I have seen more elaborate ones. I knew somebody that their whole entire basement, like probably um, 1,500 square feet of basement was like a solid Christmas village. All right, here are the night lights that I was talking about. They have so many of them. This is almost like a little Christmas village night light. And I like the ones that are like lanterns. Ooh, the Cardinals are awesome. Cardinals are always awesome. Okay, so I just entered this other room and look at how far it goes. This will give you a scale of how big the place is. Look at how far that goes back there. You can't even see the end. And I think this is all ornaments, just nothing but ornaments. I'm going to have to do a video on Brawner's Christmas Wonderland in Frankenmuth, Michigan, because I think you'll be interested to see that because it's impressive in its own right, especially being that it's in a, um, a German-themed town. But look at all the glass ornaments. They're beautiful. And then we've got more of the, the wooden stuff. Wow. That's pretty cool. And I guess you could paint these. I think these are meant to where you can like either leave them as is or paint them because you can see some of them are painted like this one's painted. So even back here in the Christmas section, they have extra checkouts, although I think they're not using them right now, probably due to the pandemic. They're putting everyone up at the front. Um, I wanted to give you one last look at, there's another section of the Christmas Village that has amusement rides and this stuff is animated. I always loved the animated stuff. Sorry, you guys, I'm trying to get rid of the glare, but I don't think that's possible. So the, the Ferris wheel is just so cool. And like I said before, I knew someone that had an entire basement. Of course, her husband was into the model railroads and so he would do the model railroad and she would do the Christmas village and put them together and it just sort of worked. All right, everyone, this is awesome. And, um, wait a minute. Was that just Amish people that I saw? Hang on a sec. I think I just saw Amish people. That's amazing. Wow, look at all of these ornaments. That's amazing. They got train ornaments, fire ornaments. The world's best Christmas tree. That's pretty cool. I like that. We need we need something on our Christmas tree that says Jesus. All right. I think I'm going to shut up for a little while and just let you enjoy some uh, holiday music. And look at all the ornaments that are over here in Cranax. So enjoy, everyone.
Okay, I just wanted to come back on and say, uh, um, comparing the prices of Cranex to Bronner's, Bronner's is expensive, and I do mean expensive. You're paying for the name when it comes to Bronner's. But here I'm seeing ornaments that are like four bucks, five bucks, six bucks. Not too bad, actually, and they're really gorgeous. All right, you guys, here is all the Christmas trees. And take a real quick look at that before checking out. I did manage to get a couple of things. There's those big, these are like the big blinky, like fireworks things. They're so cool. Wow, look at all the Christmas trees that they have. This is nuts. Of course, they've got Christmas trees going back that way. But then they've got Christmas trees going. Look, they've even got, if you're a sports fan, they've even got... Pittsburgh Steelers since we're really close to Pittsburgh. Kind of like that Santa. Then there's more Christmas trees back here. We're going to go back this way real quick. Sorry, you guys, if this is a little bit bouncy. I'm trying to... I've been in here for probably two hours and I still have not seen the entire store. But I think if I went to Bronner's, I'd probably be in there even longer. But I wanted to see all of these LED stuff that's back here. Yeah, this stuff is absolutely amazing. I mean, like, wow, look at all the LED stuff. Yeah, I've always wanted one of these little trees like this. I've seen better looking ones, but Whoa, look at this garland and the wreaths that they have back here. Wow, they're fiber optics. Those are awesome. They probably have fiber optic Christmas trees somewhere here. I just haven't gotten a chance to... Oh, I love that wreath. Wow, that's amazing. That was a look at Crane Axe here in Hermitage, Pennsylvania, near Sharon, Pennsylvania, uh, right in between Cleveland and the Pittsburgh metro areas. I hope you enjoyed this holiday episode. I had a really fun time exploring this place. It was just as cool as visiting Bronner's, and I was hoping that it would be because I didn't want to be disappointed, but I was not disappointed. I didn't even get to see the whole thing. Well, if you liked this video, then you should definitely subscribe, hit the like button, and don't forget to click that little bell icon so that you'll get notified about future uploads on all of my channels. And I'll see you in another episode of The Traveling Man. Bye, everyone, and have a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas.